Hey folks and welcome back to Shaggy's Car Shop. On tonight's episode we're going to be doing a little bit of arts and crafts time with some cardboard and a scissors and tape measure and a box cutter and yeah. So basically what this boils down to is as you can see my Firebird isn't back so I'm going to start a little mini project. Um, I have a 01 Chevy pickup that I got some aftermarket lights and things on and I just kind of have a little panel um, set up in there for my switches and I was in there the other day and I kind of thought you know it would be nice to have like a nice panel um, center console looking thing for my switches and a spot to throw extra stuff change my phone things like that so I was like why not let's grab some cardboard and kind of frame it out so that's what we're going to do tonight all right I'll bring you right back and we'll get after it folks so this is the area I'm talking about now there's this little panel right here and then your cup holders right down here as you can see I got a little makeshift panel in here with a couple of switches for my uh, lights out of my bumper um, I want to get rid of that and we got to get this out of the way first because I want this center console to come from like right here down to my cup holders so all that holds this on are a couple of little uh, seven millimeter head bolts and that's also what I use to hold that plate on. So I'm just gonna kind of drop that out of the way for right now and then uh, we'll take a look at it. So here's the space we have to work with. Now the reason I wanted to drop that out is now I can run the panel right up here right below my my charging ports and my ashtray and just bring that right along there. So let me set you up for a better view and then we'll kind of measure and get to drawing and cutting. So up here this little panel well, I guess we can go on the inside. It's just about ten and a half inches wide. And down here, we're about ten and a half inches wide. So what I'm going to use the cardboard for is kind of build my template. Just so I got my two sides. And then I measure the width of it. And I can take all these templates, uh, transcribe them onto steel, cut it out, and then kind of come out here and see how well it'll fit and adjust as needed. So, let's see here. So this one right off the bat, let's cut about. All right. I don't know how well y'all can see that, but I got the first one kind of rough fit here so I'm going to take my pencil because I want it to come right to the front of my cup holders and just run a line right like that so now I know where to cut to hit on the front and then if I go just like that And then I want it to stop about right there. All right. So 
So down here in this corner, I'm gonna come up, cut that off, cut over here, and then where my line is right here, I'm gonna try and take a, a straight edge and run it right back down to this corner. Get rid of all of that and get rid of that. And then we'll see how this fits. All right, folks, let me get you a better light in here. So this is kind of how it's gonna sit. It's gonna butt right up here against these cup holders. And then the edge of it, and this edge, I'm gonna make 10 inches wide and then put a face plate right across here and then put my switches in there. Now I am gonna be adding a few more than just the three that were there. And we'll get into that when I go into rewiring all the switches and things across here. Um, and then in the lower part, I'm thinking of putting a little cubby in there. But yeah, um, so I'm gonna do 10 inches across here and that's about that. So now we got our basic template laid out. So let's get a piece here and then we'll bring this back into the shop and kind of lay it out so we know where we're going with this. All right, folks. So this is kind of the shape it's going to be when it's in there. Now, obviously, this area up here is where the original cup holder was and then it's going to come up here with a plate and then this will all be back in the dash so you will see some of the sides of it um, now i got kind of a template built out um, so now i have to go source some metal so i guess on my next video hopefully i'll have found some not too thick of metal but i know i got some scraps to kind of build the frame on the inside um, and then I'm thinking about putting my switches right up top here and building some sort of little cubby in here where you can set things in, like I said, my phone, things like that, and then still be able to charge it. Um, as far as the switches go, um, I guess I'll show you guys maybe once I get this built and I buy new uh, little pod lights. On my bumper I built for my truck, I got little pod lights to kind of watch out into the ditches and some fog lights for the forward. Um, used to live out west and deer were a major problem. So on the back roads or the mountain roads, you'd click on the, uh, the ditch lights and you'd be able to spot eye shine from quite a ways away. But yeah, so this is kind of what I'm working on. Again, sorry it's a short video. Just kind of giving you guys a, a little train of thought of mine and uh, bring you along for some arts and crafts time. Again, I'm trying to find some small projects that I wanted to get done. Not really needed to get done, but wanted to get done. Um, to keep myself and you guys, the viewers out there in viewer land, occupied and keep you up with what's going on at Shaggy's Car Shop. Uh, but yeah, that's it for tonight. So we'll bring you back on the next one. Hopefully we'll be working on some uh, metal work on this. And that's about it. All right, we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.